Hey guys, how you doing? This is JP Saricolia coming to you once again with another episode of Age of Heroes, my podcast. And in today's episode, I want to talk about a subject. Actually, I want to expand on a subject that I, I discussed last week. Uh, last week, I had a, a, a episode which was a uh, name or was titled, um, you know, get rid of the unnecessary. Now, today's uh, podcast, today's episode is an expansion of that. Uh, and I think it's an important one. I want to expand into that subject. A lot of people were interested on it. And is uh, and that's the reason why you have this title today, which is The Beauty of Just Enough. What does that mean? You know, it sounds very, you know, very catchy. But um, I want to uh, expand on it. I want to clarify on the subject uh, because it's important that we find contentment in what we do and what we have. And as sometimes knowing that you have enough and and you're satisfied with what you have is the real key is the secret of success is the secret of happiness while you're doing a hobby now i started collecting um i would say it's been many years ago i mentioned this before um uh, i started collecting when i was very young before i got married then i got married and i stopped collecting for a few years and then i went back i think it was back in 2009 so it's been probably 10 years or, or yeah 10 years it was 2009 when I decided to go back into collecting statues again. And um, started doing it heavily. But during that time, uh, it's been a while, uh, one of the first, um, uh, I would say some of the, the the reasons why I got into statue collecting because I started you know, watching YouTube videos. I started watching people that were reviewing back in the day. Some of the old, like Averone, and, and there were others, uh, Al- Alcacel, uh, even uh, a statue uh, hunter uh, 75 which they are all friends of mine now um, they were the first and there were others but they were the first uh, statue the real OG statue reviewers um, which was uh, it, it was fun you know they were um, you know showcasing this statue collections and all that their pieces so I got hooked you know I love to watch them and they start getting into statue collecting doing more stuff with Sideshow. that's how everything started with me so it's been over 10 years uh, when I came back into statue collecting because uh, before, you know, I got married, I was collecting the smaller scale stuff, primarily a lot of DC stuff and other companies like um, the Heart Hero stuff. So they were in a different scale. I was blown away by SciShow when I got here in 2009. So um, that's before all the new. Now you see a lot of YouTubers, a lot of statue collectors, and now they, you know, they talk like they're the real OG, but the real OGs are the ones I'm talking to you. Those were the big channels then, and there were others. I, I just they escaped my mind. Some of them are no longer here. They're no longer collecting, or they're no longer uh, posting videos. Uh, a lot of reasons why. You know, there are a lot of personal reasons. But uh, it was a fun time, and um, you know, of course, when you get uh, into statue collecting, when you get into collecting stuff, um, you know, you want to have it all. You want to have it all. Everything looks beautiful. Everything looks amazing. And that's how the problem starts when you start adding and adding and adding and adding, and then you have no space to showcase anything. Now, I want to talk about this today because it's important to understand this. You find to you need to find the right balance for anything you collect. The right balance, the moment of happiness. You can call this the moment of nirvana when everything kind of, you know, you find contentment and happiness. And you said, you know what? Enough is enough. The problem with collecting is that it, it becomes an obsession. And when it becomes an obsession that can turn into an addiction, that can really uh, rob you of the joy of just having what you love. There is a passage in the Bible that I always love. Um, a passage of the Bible, and I'm not trying to be religious here. I'm just trying to, uh, I'm expressing this point. Where it says that a man found a treasure in a and in, in he was digging in some some land and he found a treasure. And in order for to keep that treasure, he wanted that special treasure. He went about the whole field just to have that speci- special treasure. And he talks about another man that find a coin, a special gem, and that it was very special to him, a very special gem. So he decided, sold everything he had just to have that. And what I really like about that passage it's because he talks about a person that finds one thing that is more important above everything else. And he just satisfied with it. And because he says that's the kingdom of God, you know, finds, you know, and that's the reason why, you know, it explains that God came to die for us because we were special to him. Um, you know, not going, I don't want to be religious here. But um, 
really talks about the value of something that really changes everything. And you know what? As a collector, I, I did collect a lot of things that were not as, I didn't have that value. Like I would say that I felt that emotional attachment to say, oh, this is the most special statue. You always gonna find this in every collection, in every group, in every place that you go with collectors. Something comes up, everybody says, oh, that's the most beautiful statue ever. That's just the grail of grails. I'm gonna get it. I'm never gonna sell it. And they buy it and they go through the hype and everybody's hyping it. And all of a sudden, six months down the road, you see them selling the same piece for less of what they pay for on a Facebook group or whatever. And you think like, but months ago, you were saying that that would never sell it. And now you're selling it. So in reality, you didn't have that attachment that you claim to have because now something better is coming along the way. And now this piece might not be as shiny or as beautiful as it used to be, at least in your eyes. It really shows how conflicted we can be with our statements and uh how sometimes our even our moods change and our you know emotions change and you know how things change you know that's the reason why people get married and then they get divorced you know they love each other till that do us part and they kiss each other they love each other everybody's happy and they spend thousands of thousands of dollars in a wedding and then two years down the road they you know they separate with irreconcilable differences or whatever that means you know so you realize that everything was just fake you know, people can be fake. We can be fake. I've been fake. And um, we have to find that balance. You know, it's important to understand that. Put limitations on what you do. And the same applies to your collections, whether it's comic books, whether it's statues, action figures, whatever. When you find the beauty just enough, um, make a rule in your life. And I always say this to everyone. Make a rule when you are starting to statue collecting um, it's important that you determine exactly what you want to accomplish. If you get into this because everything is beautiful, you're never going to have a, a real goal of what you want to accomplish. Um, it's never going to be enough. It's always going to be more and more and more and more and more. And that's how the problem starts and that's how things get out of hand. But if you want to find that balance in your life, then you have to say to yourself, set a standard that says, I'm going to have this, and this is what I want to accomplish. And when you finish it, then you can say, i am finally accomplished what I wanted to do. It's important to do that. When you really know exactly your limitations and what you can accomplish and what you want to accomplish from the beginning, then enough is enough. You know, it gets to a point that you just satisfy with what you have because you accomplished that. Um, the problem with collecting is that most people that come into collecting, 95% of collectors don't have that mindset. You know, it's a very small amount of people that really are goal oriented. And those are the people that stay in any hobby for the long, you know, long run. Those are the ones that survive. Those are the ones that are able to maintain the hobby without them becoming an obsession or an addiction in their lives, because it's just part of the fun of just accomplishing something. You know, I, I know people, they say, I want to finish this line, and once I finish this line, I'm done, and I'm over, and they keep their word. And you know what, those are rare to find. But I constantly see people evolving, which is nothing wrong with evolve your collection. It, it has to change, and it has to evolve to reflect you, and things are going to change. But it's so beautiful, it's so good when you come to a place and say, you know what, I'm done, I'm satisfied with what I have, and you know what, so be it, I just want to enjoy it, you know, which is extremely rare, not everyone feels that way. So we have to find that, you know, you have to find that balance, but that starts from the beginning, not from, not at the end, it's something that you're not gonna come to a conclusion in the end, it's something that you're gonna have to come to that personal conclusion, sometimes earlier in the race, you know, and sometimes at the start, you have to say, well, I love, I would say, uh, you know, the, the X-Men, I'm going to collect X-Men stuff, and I'm gonna build my X-Men team, and that's going to be my collection. It's enough for me. Uh, you might say, well, you know, I don't have enough space for it, I only can collect five pieces, then search for those five pieces that are really determine your collection, and stick with those five pieces. Even if that's going to take five years, you need to find the pieces that really represent you, that really talk about you, and they're about you. If you're a big Batman fan, then you should concentrate on Batman stuff. You know, you should have a Batman, maybe a Robin, maybe a, you know, Batgirl, maybe a Joker to go along, and uh, that's all you need to do. So you have to have a goal in mind. You have to set that goal in order to accomplish that and stick with that and be satisfied. Now, the secret of being satisfied is one that not everyone has. You know, and, and you know what? Sometimes I don't even know how it is. Um, but once we find peace, it's about finding peace. Once you find that peace in your life, in your heart, 
uh, you're able to say, you know what, I'm satisfied with this and I don't need anything else. I don't need any more. It took me years to come to that conclusion. Um, and that's why I can keep my uh, I can keep myself level headed uh, when situations arise, when the new thing comes up and everybody's just talking about it and everybody wants to have it because I have already set my goal. I'm not desperate for anything. I'm not desperate for the newest, I don't know, uh, Cyclops statue because I know another one is going to come down the road and then another one and then another one and another one, another Iron Man, another Captain America, another Hulk statue. And everyone is going to talk like it's the greatest thing ever until the next thing come along. So you find your balance. Find the piece that really you love and you say, you know what, I want to keep this, you know, for the next 10, 20 years. It's going to represent me, it represents me. And when you find that contentment, which I know is hard to find, but once you find that balance, then there's beauty in just having enough. It's just the beauty of it. Uh, the peace that comes with it. You know, I don't have to run. I don't need to check my Facebook groups. I don't need to be on the forums. I don't need to be like watching the live stream of SciShow just to find out what's the next thing because I'm so, you know, in this case, anxious to get the next thing. No, because I'm just satisfied with what I have. And if something comes along and I find it very interesting, then I get it and change something, but I'm satisfied with myself. I don't need to add anything extra to it. I don't need to keep adding, 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 and then trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to display it because I run out of space. And that's the problem most people have in any collectible uh, hobby, in any type of hobby, people have this problem. They want to have more. You want to have more. It's just the race of having more and more and more and more. And the more you have, the more worries you have, the more problems you have, the more conflicts you have, you know, but once you start being more maybe minimalistic in your approach to things, you realize that there's such beauty in it that that nothing else can compare. I can tell you one thing before I let you go on this. Um, one of the most beautiful experiences in my life, I used to, when I was young, well, I live in Colorado. I love the Colorado mountains. I love the mountains, especially in the winter when the snow in the, in the middle of the, uh, in, the, in the middle of the snow and you hear uh, through the cliffs, you can hear the sound and the echoey sound. Uh, there's such a beauty in nature. And you know what? Nothing can compare to be in that situation where you see yourself being so small and it's something that is so beautiful and vast and uh, all you have is you walking in the snow. Uh, to me, that was one of the most ex beautiful, uh, the most amazing experience of my life. And I loved to do that when I was young, uh, before I moved to South Carolina where I, I reside now with my wife and my family. But I loved it. It was, to me, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Nature is beautiful. And it doesn't take much. And sometimes in life, you don't need to, you want to have that peace and that balance. You don't need much. You don't need much. I was very young. I, I was really a hippie in, in the way I was living. You know, I really didn't have much stuff to my name. I just enjoy nature. And you know what? Um, the statues don't give me the same feeling. You know, they're beautiful and all that, but they're just stuff. You know, sometimes the most beautiful things are not material stuff. It's just experiences that you, you, you go through in life, like nature, uh, sounds, you know, the ability to go places that you've never been before, uh, relationships, people, you know, so invest in those things more and you'll see that, you know, things, things are not going to be as, 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 as I would say as important as they are, or as uh, time consuming as they are, because you'll find the enjoyment on the little things. And yes, not saying that, you know, call, you know, cut it out of your life that you shouldn't be a collector. No, if that's what you want to do, just do it, just do it. But keep in mind that there are other things in life that really build us up and where we'll build up and we have peace, internal peace, then, you know, the next best thing will come. And I'm not going to be swayed away just because of it. I'm just going to say, well, I'm going to check it out. I like it or not. If I like it, I'll buy it. If I can fit it on my in my budget or fit it on my collection on my space and I'll do it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Whether people think it's a grill or not, it's beyond the point. I'm just satisfied with what I have. So it's about the beauty of just enough. So what is your opinion on the matter? I know um, it's a subject that is a bit bit heated, and of course, everyone wants a different opinion, but I would like to hear yours. Uh, please share it down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you're reminded of the next video if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, if you're listening to the podcast, you can subscribe, you can download it, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, 
and uh, share that podcast with your friends, share the video with your friends, uh, follow me on the different social media networks, and please consider supporting uh, our, our, you know, in this case, this channel and my podcast through my Patreon account. Anything you can do to help, any financial assistance will really be really appreciated, not only from me, but from my family. So once again, God bless you and have a, have, you know, have a good day.